Hey guys, B Man coming to you from Penny Lane, of course. And, well, welcome. Unfortunately, welcome to our last week and the final song for our 80s theme month. We have had a blast doing this. A lot of people have checked it out and you seem to enjoy it too. So we're going to have to do an 80s theme month sometime again, somewhere in the future, hopefully. Because um, we love the 80s, you know. Uh, can't say enough about it. But anyway. Since this is the last song, I, I thought I'd rock it out a little bit on this one to close out the month. I picked a song from 1981. It's from the band Tommy Two-Tone. And the song is 86753099. Jenny Jenny. <laughs> and if you were around in 1981, and especially if you were in the U.S., you did not get away from this song. Um, speaking of that, how did it do? Well, in the U.S., it hit number four on the U.S. charts, number 22 on the Australian charts, number two on the Canadian charts, and I didn't see anything on the U.K. charts. So, um, this uh, Jenny Jenny was the first single off of their second album entitled Tommy Two-Tone 2. <laughs> I like that. The first one came out as Tommy Two-Tone. What are we going to come for a name for the second one? Well, what about... Tommy Two Tone 2. Okay, <laughs> that's what they did. On the single, you got Jenny Jenny on the A side. On the B side, you got Not Say Goodbye. So I guess with no further ado, 8675309, Jenny Jenny, Tommy Two Tone, 1981. One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs>
8675309 Jenny Jenny Tommy Two Tone 1981 and if that's not a way to close out a theme month I don't know what is so wait wait in your face plots no not really <laughs> but hopefully I matched in people's minds at least got close to, to what he did on Wednesday so let's get to the song right first off the song was written by Jim Keller and Alex Call now here's the song origin Jim Keller said in a people interview in 1982 that Jenny is a regular girl she's not a hooker friends of his wrote her number and name on the wall in the men's bathroom at a bar and he called her on a dare and we dated a while says, I haven't talked to her since the song became a hit, but I heard that she thinks I'm a real jerk for writing it. And that has been the song and the story behind it for years and years. Until, 19, until 2004, in her interview with Song Facts, Alex Call, who was the other person that was the, the songwriter on this song, said he came up with the name Jenny and the phone number and the music all while he was just sitting in his backyard at the picnic table. He said, I, I had a few blank spots and Jim filled in the rest, but that's how the song was really created. He says, but that's boring. So that's why they went with that original song for a long time. <laughs> so that's the real story behind Jenny Jenny. I like the other one, and that other one went on for years. The other neat thing about this song, this song came out and people started, the, the, the phone lines got flooded because people started calling this number. I mean, there are, they had people that actually got called so often they actually changed their number because people kept calling asking for Jenny. <laughs> yeah, uh, great story. So the personnel in the band, you first off, you got Tommy Heath, who's on lead vocals and plays rhythm guitar. And he is the one that people kind of refer to as Tommy Two-Tone. But Tommy Two-Tone was just the name of the band, not him. But he kind of became Tommy Two-Tone. Uh, you got Jim Keller on lead guitar. You got Terry Nails on bass and backing vocals. And Kenny Johnson on drums. Now, the origin of the band is California in the USA. Genre that the music falls under is rock, pop rock, power pop, and new wave. Active years from 1978 to 1984. Then they took a break for years. Got back in 1996 and have been playing since then to the present. And during, and during this period, uh, they've put out six studio albums and seven singles. And the neat thing, or, or my story about, now I get to tell you my story about me and Tommy Two-Tone. Now, they, out of those seven singles, only two of those singles ever charted. The first one was off of two, Tommy Two-Tone One, which was called Angels Say No, and that charted at, the, at peaked at number 38 in 1980. Then the, the second album, Tommy Two-Tone Two, comes out, and the Jenny Jenny pops out as a single, and that charts in 1981, it makes it as high as four. Well, Jenny, now, now my story. So Jenny Jenny comes out, and I have, I'm listening to this song. I'm like, this song is a killer song. So I liked it so much that I went down to the record store, and I bought Tommy Two Tone 2. And I put this thing on, and I started listening to it. And you know what? That album sucked, at least in my opinion. There were like two songs on there that I really liked. The rest of it sucked. And I was like, man, this album sucks. And it sucks so bad that they fundamentally changed the way I bought albums going forward. From that point on, I didn't buy an album the first time I heard a great single off of it. I had to hear a few singles before I was going to drop any of my hard-earned money on another album. All because of Tommy Two-Tone. So normally I'd say, man, make sure you, you check out the greatest hits and listen to all their music. I'm not going to tell you on this one. In fact... Tommy Two-Tone, this song, we, I was going to do this back a while ago when we had one hit wonders, but you saw they had two hits, so it didn't fall into that. This song it, itself, Jenny Jenny, is a killer song. Love this song. But other than that, <laughs> not a fan of Tommy Two-Tone because they took my money and I didn't get my money's worth. So you see, I, years later, I am still sore about that, man. 
So anyway, that's all I got to say about them. If you enjoyed this song about being canonized, give it a thumbs up. If you enjoyed mine and Skull's performance, Skull's is yet another one of those guitars that I was given to by Plotz. Um, isn't she a beauty? And he said, I mean, she's got a hard, she's got, where a storm has got the clear and then a middle end, hard end, skulls can growl it out. He said, you don't have one to really growl. So that's what I did. I left her not growling on this, but she certainly kicked this whole lot of butt playing on this one, which is why I use skulls on this guitar. So thank you again, Plots, for hooking me up with skulls. I really appreciate it. So I guess that's all I got. So next month are, is wide open. So... You know, who knows what we're going to do, right? <laughs> so, I guess, don't forget to check in on Wednesday at 1 o'clock to check out Plot's new offering. And then don't forget to check out um, me on Saturday at noon. I guess until next time, peace out. Live long and prosper. <laughs>